Good morning. Good morning. Are you going to be friendly? She's purring because she's hungry. Should we give you some bickies then? Should we give you some bickies? We give you some bickies. <laughs> she's just not a friendly cat. You're getting better though, aren't you? Oh, what's this, Eddie? Oh, yes. Wow, the floor's dirty. <laughs> Good morning unicorns. It is a day off. It is cold. We're in winter right now in New Zealand. So I'm trying to rig myself up and be warm as possible. I've been sipping away on my green tea all morning. I think it's, I don't know what the time is. I think it's about 10 o'clock. Um, I just haven't been hungry yet. So yeah, because it's a day off, I haven't needed to have breakfast yet, but now it is time and we are just having some Marmite tomato and nutritional yeast on toast. Some people might think it's a bit strange that I don't put spread, but I just, I'm used to it without spread and I don't really like spread that much. So sometimes I do, but most of the time I don't. In summertime, I will put avocado as a spread before the Marmite. That is amazing. So, so good. But avocados are like $5 each at the moment and I just can't afford that. I'm a student. I'm I'm too broke. So yeah, I've been using Marmite because it is high in vitamin B12. I think it's also got iron and stuff in it too. Yes, it does. So one serving of this is 15% of my iron. So that's why I'm trying to eat iron, iron, Marmite from time to time, just to boost that up. Although I've just had a blood test and everything going back sweet as. So obviously everything I'm doing is working. But yeah, that's my breakfast. I might have another one. And if I have another piece of toast, I'll probably put peanut butter on it. So today's what I did, what I do in, huh? Today is what I eat. I'm not following any particular plan, because I'm just not following any particular plan at the moment. I do try to still stick to the daily dozen, but the app has deleted itself off my phone because my phone is having a midlife crisis, I guess. Mind you, it's 18 months old, it's probably having probably gonna die that's probably what the problem is um, so I'm not able to like track it as easily but I kind of know what I'm doing you know like three serves of beans three serves of grains um, three serves of, of greens and like eating other vegetables or is it two serves of greens I'm not sure but yeah so this would be whole grain this toast is pretty brown um, so that would be some of my whole grains there's flaxseed in this as well she's my serving of flaxseed yeah, so I'm still trying to do that, but I'm not crazy strict anymore. I'm kind of moving more towards intuitive eating at the moment. Um, so that's slimming world is kind of like in the past for me now, I think. I don't know though, you know, you guys, if you've been watching me in a while, you know what I'm like. I'm like, I flip between things, but I'm kind of just over dieting. I'm kind of over just thinking about stuff. I kind of just want to eat what I eat and like the initial reason I joined Slimming World was to lose weight to get my polycystic ovarian syndrome back in check and it is in check at the moment so I'm kind of like I don't really I don't know everything I'm doing is still managing it I feel good and I don't really want to lose weight I kind of just like my body as it is so yeah like I know that's quite rare for a woman to say that she just likes her body as it is and I'm not skinny or anything like that so yeah it's just how I feel kind of just can't be bothered I am eating breakfast number two I'm still hungry as per usual I just made some rice 
brown rice because I'm going to make a rice salad for lunch. I really hope you can't see that I've got peanut butter stuck in my teeth. <laughs> um, so I'm going to make a recipe video today um, separate from this one for rice salad. So that will probably go up first I'd say because I'll probably just like do that and then edit it and put it up straight away probably. Um, yeah so yeah that's what I'm going to do for the rest of my day. It is real cold so I'm probably just going to like do a bit of study and yeah just chill out watch some Netflix eat some food. Sounds good to me. Mm. Best time of the day. I try to be one of those people who gave up coffee. I love it too much. I just do. And I just don't think you should give up something you really like. So, I try not to drink more than one a day. And some days I don't drink it at all, so. Well, hello. I have finally got myself dressed and ready for the day properly. And as you can see, I am uh, feeling blue by the nails, the cardigan, and the makeup. Not in the like depressed way, I'm just feeling it like I'm loving blue today. So we're gonna go with that. And the salad is not blue, it's very green. And it's so delicious. So there is a video, uh, a video, a video for this. It'll probably be out before this is. Um, and yeah, it is just an edamame and rice salad it's got a miso dressing some sesame seeds on top and it is divine so go check that video out mm. I'm just thinking about dinner I don't know I'm thinking about my next meal while I'm eating this one my boyfriend's coming over and we're just gonna Netflix and chill tonight and I'm thinking we're just gonna make wraps so yeah Probably won't hang out behind the camera too much. Probably show you the food, but not hang out to behind the camera too much because I'm just tired and you know we just want to chill. He's not really into like being behind the camera and that sort of thing, so and that's cool. Like I'm not going to force him to do that. So yeah, you might you'll see our food for sure. I'm definitely going to show you my food because that's what I the point of this video, isn't it? Um and yeah, but whatever. I'm going to chill out for the rest of the day. Their boyfriend is having a snooze. I could be studying, but instead I'm playing with my beads. This is a wee project I've been working on. Um, one kind of feature strand of different beads and then three of these. I'm just doing a fourth and if I have enough beads of these kind, I'll do a fifth. Also just made some little earrings, quite simple wee earrings for my mum. Um, I can't wear earrings like this because I have stretched ears. Um, but I'm thinking I'll use these and make some earrings that I can put through my ears. But yeah, not really sure. I think I'm going to run out of these three beads. I've got some of the pink ones in there and then, where are they? The multicolored ones in here, but they're like mixed in. I just don't think there's that many left. So. Might have to be a bit more creative with this one strand, maybe. Here is my finished necklace. So I ended up just doing four of these kind of strands and then this one kind of feature. Put a lobster clasp on so I can get it on nice and easy. And yeah, it's really pretty. I'm really happy with it.
so it's bedtime and I just wanted to share this moment because Evie, this cat right here, she comes from a not so nice environment when she was a kitten. Um, a little bit of abuse perhaps and she has taken her sweet time to kind of bond with us and just in the last fortnight she has started coming into my bed for cuddles and she'll sit on my lap and like as you can see she'll lick my fingers and it's just so nice that after not such a great start in life she is starting to enjoy being around humans and enjoy her life as a pampered putty cat. So, just a wee moment there of gratitude for Edie's, and now she's biting me. Okay, <laughs> for Edie's progress. Say hello. Just say hello. You can't bite me. You can't lick me.